Imagine if you charge your car for just 5 minutes and it runs for 1,000 kilometers straight. It sounds like a science fiction movie, but in reality, this is no longer a dream. It can happen very soon. Toyota has recently made such a blast that has shaken the entire auto industry. Solid state battery. You must have heard this name many times, but now it is not limited to research papers. It is going to become a reality. Till date, the biggest fear of driving an electric car was this long charging time and short range. But if a range of 1000 kilometers and just 5 minutes of charging really becomes a reality, then the era of petrol and diesel cars will change. The big question is whether this technology is really coming to change our lives, or is it just another promise that will be forgotten with time? And if this is true, then the foundations of Tesla, BYD, and other companies are going to be shaken. Friends, in this video we will tell you how this Toyota battery works, when it can be launched, and why it is being said that it will prove to be the biggest automobile revolution of the next 10 years. And is this really possible? So watch the video till the end because the information you are about to know may decide the future of your upcoming car. And yes, before moving ahead in the video, subscribe to the channel so that you can be the first to see such videos. Before knowing about Toyota's battery technology, let's take a look at Toyota's market. Toyota, which is counted among the world's largest car companies, has always earned a name for its reliable and long-life vehicles. From the 90s till today, if there is any company that has shown the most trust in petrol and diesel engines, then it is Toyota. Be it Toyota Corolla, Camry, or SUV models like Innova and Fortuner, everywhere this brand has made itself synonymous with quality and trust. But now, times are changing and when the whole world is moving towards electric vehicles, Toyota is also, you know, slowly moving ahead in this race. If we talk about the electric car market today, companies like Tesla and BYD are at the forefront, while Toyota is still behind in this race. Instead of jumping directly to electric, Toyota first focused on hybrid vehicles. Prius is the biggest example of this, which became the world's first mass production hybrid car and sold in millions. In the last few years, Toyota has tried to increase the sale of electric vehicles, but the figures show that it is still at the initial stage. By the year 2023, Toyota had sold about 1.9 million hybrid and electric vehicles, but most of them were hybrid cars. The share of pure electric vehicles was very low. In comparison, BYD and Tesla are selling millions of electric cars annually. That is, it is clear that Toyota has not been able to run that fast in this race of electric cars. The biggest reason for this is the company's reliance on traditional engines and hybrid technology. Toyota believes that it will not be easy to shift the world completely to electric all of a sudden. That is why it is adopting a strategy of gradually taking people towards electric by considering hybrid as a bridge technology. But now the situation is changing. Global warming, strict emission rules and increasing pressure towards green energy all these have forced Toyota to get serious about electric cars. In the last few years, the company has introduced many electric concepts and brought new models under the name of the BZ series. BZ4X is Toyota's first mainstream electric SUV which has been launched in markets like America and Europe. Although it has not been sold in large numbers till now, it is clearly visible that Toyota is now ready to make its place in the world of electric vehicles. Toyota's real trump card is its battery technology. The company has been researching solid-state batteries for a long time. If this technology comes into the market then Toyota will directly challenge companies like Tesla and BYD, 1000 km range and just 5 minutes of charging. If this becomes a reality, Toyota can suddenly reach the top position in the electric market. So. It can be said that even though Toyota is lagging behind in the direct race of electric cars today, its preparation is very deep. The company has already completed the journey from petrol and diesel engines to hybrid, and now its turn towards electric is becoming even faster. In the coming years, this strategy of Toyota will decide whether it will become a leader in the EV market or will remain just another company. So, what exactly is a solid-state battery? Well, the electric vehicle battery that we hear about today is mostly a lithium-ion battery. 
And, you know, this is the same battery that is installed in everything from your mobile phone to your laptop and even your electric scooter. Now the way a lithium ion battery works is that small particles called lithium ions move from one place to another. This movement is what actually charges and discharges the battery. But there is a problem here. The electrolyte in a lithium ion battery is liquid. This liquid, yeah, it makes the battery work, but at the same time it also has some dangerous drawbacks, like the battery gets overheated, can burst, or just does not last for a long time. Now the entry of solid state battery starts from here. It is clear from the name itself, solid state. This means that solid electrolyte is used in it instead of liquid electrolyte. This solid electrolyte works to move the ions from one place to another inside the battery. That is, the battery does the same work as lithium ion, but in a safer and better way. Being solid instead of liquid, problems like leakage, overheating, and fire in the battery are almost eliminated. The biggest feature of a solid-state battery is its energy capacity, or, you know, energy density. In simple words, more energy can be stored in less space. This is the reason that if today's lithium-ion battery in an electric car gives a range of 400 to 500 kilometers, then the same car can go up to 800 to 1000 kilometers with a solid-state battery. And honestly, this is the thing that has shaken the entire auto industry. Now let's talk about its charging. It also takes at least 30 to 40 minutes to fast charge a lithium ion battery. But due to the special technology of solid state batteries, it can be fully charged in just 5 to 10 minutes. Imagine, today, we go to a petrol pump and fill our tank in 5 minutes. If the same thing happens with electric cars, then who cares whether the car is running on petrol or battery? This is the reason why solid state battery is being called a game changer technology. Now let us understand a little about what this solid electrolyte does. Whenever the battery is charged, the lithium ions move from the positive electrode to the negative electrode. And when the battery is discharged, the same ions come back from negative to positive. This movement is done with the help of electrolyte. This journey is easy in liquid electrolyte, but the risk is also more because the liquid can heat up quickly, expand, and sometimes even cause a short circuit. On the other hand, solid electrolyte makes these ions move in a very stable manner. The advantage of this is that the battery lasts longer, holds more charge, and does not get damaged quickly even after repeated charging. Solid-state battery is considered safe and long-lasting, while lithium-ion batteries start W.